The father of a 14-year-old who is wanted for the murders of three other teenagers has been indicted for capital murder. Richard Acosta has been in custody since his arrest a few days after the shooting at a Texaco just after Christmas. Police say he didn't pull the trigger, but he did help his son, Abel, commit the murders, then get away. Abel Acosta disappeared. He has still not been found. Fox 4's Stephen Dial spoke with Garland police about the investigation. Stephen is live. Clarice Richard Acosta's capital murder charges are the same his son Abel Acosta will face, but nearly two months after that deadly shooting, investigators still have not located the 14-year-old. A Dallas County grand jury indicted 33-year-old Richard Acosta for capital murder of multiple persons. Police say Richard Acosta allegedly drove his son Abel Acosta to a Texaco gas station in December, where the son is seen on video firing multiple gunshots, killing three people and injuring another person. Investigators say Richard Acosta also drove his son away from the gas station following the shootings. Pedro Barano with the Garland Police Department explains why Richard Acosta is facing capital murder. In the video, it's clear as day. Abel Acosta was the one that pulled the trigger. Uh, the father was in the car, and so he was still charged with capital murder. There's certain parts of investigations and involvements in, in, in cases where even though someone may not have actually caused the injury or damage, they too can actually be charged with the exact same crime. Richard Acosta turned himself into police after seeing his image on the news and has been in jail since. The alleged killer, 14-year-old Abel Acosta, is still on the run. We have not got any assistance from him. There's nothing that helps us in leading to identifying where Abel Acosta is. There is a $10,000 reward for information that can lead to Abel Acosta's arrest. Investigators say they are regularly getting tips as to where the teenager may be, but none so far have resulted in finding him. They don't even know if he's still in the country. He's 14, yes, and which leads us to believe that he's reliant on somebody or some people. Uh, but we can't prove that. The fact that he's nowhere around and nobody's coming forward to assist us in this investigation uh, leads us to believe that somebody is definitely helping. While tips have not been fruitful yet, Barino says detectives won't stop until they get justice for the victims. They don't rest well because as police officers, our job and what we desire most is to keep our community safe. And so when there is somebody that we know is armed and dangerous who has committed such a, a horrendous act, killing three people, wounding a fourth, you know, shooting multiple times, they're still out there. That's hard for us because we know that people can't rest. And we reached out to the victim's families to see if they had any reaction to the grand jury's decision. None got back to us tonight.